Former Macomb County Clerk Karen Spranger has reached a plea deal in her criminal case. Spranger pleaded no contest to a misdemeanor charge of disturbing the peace. She was facing felony larceny charges after allegedly stealing money from a 78-year-old woman in her care. Spranger must pay more than $1,600 in restitution. If she doesn't pay it, she'll go to jail. It's a piece of U.S. history, but it's been neglected and empty for more than a decade. Today, the old home of Union General and President Ulysses S. Grant was moved from the old state fairgrounds. Tim Pamplin shows us where it's headed and what's in store for the historic home. A major traffic jam on Van Dyke. As history is on the move, 200 years of history, the Ulysses S. Grant home used to stand at the state fairgrounds, now on its way down to the Eastern Market. We had to look at a lot of routes, but we had to avoid bridges, um, going under bridges. We couldn't go under any bridge. The 15 mile route from the state fair took it down Nevada to Van Dyke, down to Gratiot, in to Eastern Market. Slow and steady was the order of the day. You stay slow, six miles an hour roughly, and, and you watch all the trees and you watch you know, all of the different things that are unknown. A crew of electricians leading the way as they check power lines, traffic lights, make for clearance. The home, like I say, was home to America's 18th president, Ulysses S. Grant, when he was assigned to Detroit in the 1840s. At the time, the house stood where Lafayette Park is today. The historians behind the move want your input now. We're asking the community what they would like to do with it. We want people to be able to have, we want it to have mixed uses. So the two-story structure is now staged in Eastern Market. The foundations have been poured, they're bringing a a pop truck in to clear out the foundations and the house will then be dropped here with a clear shot to downtown Detroit. That is the city.